Hey everyone, welcome back. Have you ever noticed that people seem a bit uneasy or quiet around you? This could be because you have a unique presence that you might not even be aware of. It's a fact that some people are just naturally more noticeable or impactful when they walk into a room. You have a glow or energy that draws people's attention to you, much like a spotlight shining down on you. This isn't something new. It's been happening since you were a kid. You might remember times when you'd enter a room and suddenly it felt like all eyes were on you. This doesn't necessarily mean you're seeking attention. It's more about the special vibe you carry around. This effect is like having a natural spotlight. Even though you're not a celebrity, you have this aura that makes people notice you, almost as if you're illuminated from within. It's as if you've been given a special kind of spirit that lights you up in life. Whether you enjoy this attention or not, it's part of what makes you unique, like a gift that's been with you right from the start. Not many people experience this, but from the moment you were born, you've been blessed with a unique kind of energy or spirit, often referred to as the Holy Spirit, which brings out the best in you, like kindness, wisdom, and a bright, positive aura. This spirit is not just any ordinary vibe, it's potent, full of knowledge, and incredibly vibrant. So, think of a situation where you're walking into a room where people are chatting and having a good time. The moment you say something as simple as, hey, how are you guys doing? You might notice a sudden change in the atmosphere. People may quiet down or the tone of the conversation shifts. It's not that you've done anything wrong or that they're reacting negatively to you. Instead, it's your unique energy making an impact, even if you're just being your natural, kind-hearted self. As someone with this special energy, you're not about causing harm or being negative towards others. On the contrary, you're all about spreading kindness and love. That's just who you are, a reflection of the extraordinary spirit within you. This kind, loving nature isn't by accident. It's by design, a gift from the universe meant to shine through you and impact those around you in the most positive way. This unique energy you carry is not just noticeable, it's incredibly potent and commands a significant presence. For those of you who feel a deep connection to this description, you've probably experienced moments when a simple greeting, like saying hi to someone, catches them off guard. They might react with surprise, shy away, or even try to avoid interaction, leaving you wondering, what's going on? Why do they act so differently around me? It's not uncommon to feel puzzled by these reactions, especially when it seems like you're the only one receiving them. Before understanding the reason, you might have found yourself questioning why people seemed wary or even intimidated by you, despite you just being your genuine self. It's not about you doing anything intentionally to provoke these reactions. It's the vibrancy of your spirit that can be overwhelming for some. This powerful aura you possess isn't meant to intimidate or cause discomfort. It's simply a testament to the strong, positive energy you emit. If this resonates with you, it's important to recognize that your bright spirit is what sets you apart, even if it means sometimes standing out in ways you hadn't anticipated. This unique ability you have allows you to understand people on a deeper level. You possess what can be described as the vision of the Holy Spirit, enabling you to see others for who they truly are. This gift has been with you since birth, providing you with a unique perspective on the world around you. Your inclination towards doing no harm and your inherently good intentions stem from a place of purity in your heart. You approach interactions with a genuine desire to connect, without any hidden agendas. Your radiant energy is apparent, making it clear to those you meet that your intentions are nothing but kind. However, this can sometimes lead to unexpected reactions. Some people might feel intimidated or even scared in your presence, not because of anything you've done, but because your vibrant aura is so unusual and powerful. Others might feel envious or try to belittle you, unable to comprehend or accept the positive energy you embody. In your journey as a chosen one, you're recognized not for material achievements or worldly attributes, but for your spiritual essence. People sense that there's something different about you, something that transcends the superficial aspects of life. 
This recognition comes not from what you have or what you look like, but from the profound spirit you carry within you. People notice that there's something special about you. It's not about the possessions you own or the things you achieve in the conventional sense. Instead, they're drawn to the essence of who you are at your core. Often, this leaves them at a loss for words around you, not because of anything you've said or done, but due to the sheer impact of your presence. You might have heard comments along the lines of, I'm not sure what to say to you, reflecting how profoundly you affect others. Your aura isn't about being intimidating or dominating, even though it might come across that way because it's filled with a powerful, radiant energy. This intensity is a reflection of a strong spiritual presence within you, not a desire to overpower or control. Your influence doesn't stem from wanting to assert dominance, but from a natural, almost spotlight-like effect that highlights your spirit and sets you apart from the crowd. This commanding presence isn't about making you seem overbearing or tyrannical. It's simply a byproduct of being uniquely you, someone who transcends ordinary worldly distinctions. Your impact is like carrying a beam of light into every room you enter, illuminating your surroundings just by being there. It's a testament to your profound connection to something greater, an energy that shines brightly through you. Sometimes it feels like you carry an extraordinary energy, noticeable wherever you go. You might find yourself wondering, why are people staring? Their gazes seem filled with curiosity, as if they're thinking, who is this person? This feeling of being distinct or out of place isn't new. It's something you've experienced since childhood. Back then, you couldn't pinpoint why you were perceived differently or why certain interactions felt off. As you grow older, perhaps stumbling upon explanations through videos or readings, things start to click. You realize that you've always been a bit of an outsider, not quite meshing with the world in the typical way. There were moments of enjoyment and attempts to blend in, but a genuine sense of belonging always seemed just out of reach. The harder you tried to conform, the more it weighed on you, leading to feelings of negativity and a desire to escape. This journey of self-discovery helps you understand that your uniqueness isn't a flaw, but a sign of your distinctive path. It's a realization that fitting into a mold isn't necessary for your story. Your experiences, feelings of being different, and the intense energy you bring into spaces are part of what makes you who you are, guiding you towards embracing your true self rather than forcing conformity. The reason you often feel out of sync with the world around you is that you're aligned with something far greater. Your place is with the divine, alongside God and Jesus Christ, because you are a child of God. This spiritual alignment is the root of the unique interactions you experience. Your presence carries a distinct, almost spotlight-like aura, causing unusual reactions in others. For instance, you might start a conversation, and suddenly the other person becomes silent or tries to avoid engagement, leaving you puzzled. This intense presence of yours can be intimidating to some, even if they never verbalize it. You might notice their unease through their body language rather than their words. Instances where a simple greeting or question from you causes someone to startle are not uncommon. Apologizing for startling them, you recognize the strong impact you have, an impact often left unspoken. Your remarkable presence elicits a range of responses, from fear and silence to misunderstanding or even excitement. The way people react to you can vary widely, but each reaction speaks to the powerful energy you embody. These varied responses might leave you wondering about the nature of your interactions. It's a reflection of your profound essence, visible to others even before you fully understand it yourself. They could see who you are. You're this, or you're not all that. They just had to throw shade at you, or they'll just hate on you for no reason. The unique connection you have with the divine, a blessing from God since your inception, sets you apart in this world. You're imbued with a distinctive aura, a different kind of vibrancy that marks you as a child of light, a child of God. This essence is not just about having a powerful presence. 
It's about embodying light in a world that often leans towards darkness. Though you might have found yourself straying into shadowy paths or engaging in actions that don't align with your inherent nature, it's important to remember that such detours don't define you. God's grace is ever-present, guiding you away from missteps and towards a path of light, regardless of the challenges or temptations you might face. This could be anything from substance misuse to engaging in harmful behaviors. The divine call within you always nudges you towards better choices, reminding you that you're meant for something brighter. This internal conflict, the guilt, or the sense that you're veering off course is a reflection of your true self, a beacon meant to shine in clarity and truth, not to be dimmed by the darkness of harmful environments or actions. Your life's journey is about remaining in the light, fostering an environment where the Spirit of God can thrive within and through you. Reflecting on past experiences, such as visits to bars or clubs, might highlight this contrast. These places, often filled with negativity, from despair to jealousy and conflict, are not conducive to your spiritual growth. Recognizing this disparity is a step towards embracing your true path, steering clear of environments that don't resonate with your inner light. The realization that these settings are misaligned with your essence is a testament to your growth and alignment with a higher calling, guiding you towards spaces that reflect and enhance the divine energy within you. Bars and clubs are often thought of as places for fun, but they don't always deliver true enjoyment. Instead, they can be filled with excessive drinking, inappropriate jokes, and an atmosphere where people seem to be escaping their problems, not facing them. In these environments, there's a lot of focus on lust and other behaviors far from positive or uplifting. If you're someone who feels deeply connected to a higher purpose, you might find these places unsettling or even feel unwelcome aggression from others for no apparent reason. It could be a sign that such environments, with their underlying negativity and potential for conflict, are not where you're meant to be. The initial appeal of trying to fit in or seeking entertainment in these settings often leads to regret and a realization of their true nature. For those looking for fulfillment and a meaningful path, it becomes clear that the true joy lies beyond the temporary highs of nightlife, pointing towards a need for environments that enrich and align with one's spiritual journey. When you're in places like bars or clubs, it can sometimes feel like you're a magnet for unwarranted aggression. I've experienced instances where guys would seem ready to confront me without any provocation on my part. Despite not interacting or engaging with anyone, the atmosphere can become charged with hostility. It's as if you can see the negativity in their eyes, a reflection of their inner turmoil, marked by jealousy or spite. As someone who strives to live by the principles of positivity and kindness, such encounters can feel especially jarring. You're there just looking to enjoy yourself, carrying the peaceful and joyous spirit you hold dear. The last thing you want is to harm, envy or belittle anyone. It's simply not in your nature. And on the rare occasion, you might find yourself slipping away from these ideals. Your conscience quickly guides you back because it's out of character for you to act negatively. Despite these challenging interactions, these venues can also be places where you end up engaging in meaningful conversations. People are drawn to you, perhaps intrigued by your presence or the aura of calm you project. Even when you're sitting alone, your energy can attract others who are looking for genuine connection, demonstrating the complex dynamics of social spaces and the impact of carrying a spirit of goodwill. In lively social environments like bars, clubs, or even gyms, you might find yourself drawing crowds, not in the sense of actual gangs, but groups of people gravitating towards you for a chat. This knack for attracting others can lead to enriching conversations and connections, a testament to your engaging aura. However, this magnetic pull can also attract negativity and jealousy from some, a stark contrast to the positive interactions. Such environments, despite their potential for socialization, can harbor a darker side where the presence of negativity can feel overwhelming. 
Embracing your innate brightness and warmth, you stand out, especially in places that might not resonate with your positive energy. This disparity can provoke reactions from those struggling with their own inner demons, manifesting in negative outbursts directed towards you. It highlights the dual nature of your impact. While you can inspire and uplift, you might also unintentionally bring to light the shadows in others. Your presence brings to light the unseen, the hidden shadows in others. When you're around those who live in darkness or engage in negative behaviors, it's clear they're not the best company for you. While it's important not to harbor hatred towards them and to approach them with kindness, keeping your distance is wise. These individuals might direct negativity, jealousy, and unfounded criticism your way. This might seem a bit off topic, yet it ties directly into the essence of your influence. Your vibrant presence can unsettle some people, causing them to react in ways they might not fully understand. It's not just about the physical or verbal interactions. There's a spiritual recognition that occurs. People sense your spiritual energy, often without realizing why they feel compelled to act differently around you or say things they wouldn't normally express. Your sense of not belonging in this world stems from a higher calling. You're in this world, but not of it, guided by a divine pull. This distinction makes you more of an observer in situations that others might dive into, especially in settings like bars or clubs. You find yourself standing apart, recognizing that such places and their prevailing negativity aren't where you're meant to be. I hope this video has been enlightening and that I've managed to convey the essence of navigating a world where you don't quite fit in. If you found value in this discussion, please support the channel by subscribing. Your engagement through likes and comments is greatly appreciated and helps build a community of thoughtful viewers. Looking forward to sharing more insights in the next video.